Hi, everybody. Welcome to Tampa, Florida. Along with Ray Ferraro, I'm James Stavalski. Eastern Conference, Western Conference collision. They don't see each other much. Does that create a tentativeness then? It can, for sure, because you don't really know other than video how that team's going to play. You haven't played against those players very much, so you'll get into the game, feel it out, and then I think it's a fun game to play. Both teams are lined up, and we are set to get things going. The Blues start with possession as we are now underway. Buchnevich is moving the puck through his own zone. There's the whistle. Offside is the call, stopping the play. O'Reilly's dependent upon to win faceoffs and take possession right off the puck drop. Guys, his quick draw zone ability means he's great in the dots. Kucherov's able to move his feet and fire pucks at the same time. His make it snappy zone ability is that quick shot while moving in stride, and it's how he likes to create scoring chances. I'll be watching these two. And he's going after him here. He's looking for a dance partner. Yeah, he looks like he wants somebody, anybody to, to engage with. They're gonna drop the gloves here. Yeah, you bet they are, but he had to jump in. You can't let that other guy stand there and fight. Oh, and down to the ice he goes. That's the end of that spirited boat. Oh, that'll do it, and you can tell who won. Listen to the building. Upcoming face-off here, and this crowd still buzzing after what we saw just a few moments ago. The Blues get a hold of the puck in their own end. Krug stick handling in his own zone. Moves it to O'Reilly. Things starting to get a little physical out there. The Lightning have possession along the boards. There's the whistle, and a face-off back down the other end looms. A whole bunch of these happen in a game. Not often do they really matter, it seems. But man, you lose a draw when you're tired, you're on the chase. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. Still no score in this one. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. After the icing, now you've got the puck again. You can wear them down quickly into the offensive zone. Here's a howitzer at the net. He was totally locked in on that play. Here's a blast. They score! And they're loving it in Newport City tonight. He's going to look at that up on the board. He's not going to like his positioning, I don't think, James. When he sees the replay, he'll see he was a little deep. Taken a 1-0 lead. Points won the face off deep inside the offensive zone. Hammers one. Whistle blown as the puck is directed out into the crowd and a souvenir for some lucky fan tonight. And we're moments away from getting back underway here with the puck drop. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Turn that chance aside. Ref's arms in the air. We got a penalty coming up. Well, he's calling him out now. And 
play comes to an end as someone is heading to the sin bin. Chernak's not so sure about the weight class here. He says no thanks. Pareko's off to the box, holding the call. Pretty tough to argue when you've got your hand wrapped around the guy's arm. Penalty for holding. Kucherov's on this power play unit, and it's an opportunity for him to showcase his zone ability and help the team put one on the board here, guys. Stamkos is quick on the draw. And off the save, that one's redirected out of play. Shen side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Tampa Bay's got it and they're on the attack. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Takes that pass back at the point. With the puck under siege, can he get out of the zone here? Barbashev's got it in the defensive end. And things starting to ramp up a little bit now on the ice with that play. Quick pass to Hedman. Can't connect on the pass. And now it's over to Shen. Levels him with the hit. Sends the pass over. Takes the feed. Pareko's ready to join the play. And that's blocked. Both teams back to even strength as the power play comes up empty-handed on that one. Well, they'll have to regroup after that. The power play doesn't cash in. Opportunity lost for them. Takes the feed at the point. Makes the save with the goal. Vasilevsky somehow able to make this save. I, I think from my position that this is going in the net. But he gets just enough of it. Takes a hit on the play. Oh, fantastic save by Bennington. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. The Blues have it now. Perron's got it on the offensive end. And he takes a shot. And the puck dies with the trapper save. And that's stolen by Perron. The Blues have done a good job with their sticks, intercepting passes, yet they haven't been able to stretch this game out. St. Louis has it behind the cage. Poked away in the defensive end. Nice zone entry from the middle. That's got to be maddening as a stick collapses. James, you work so hard to get into position, you make the right play, and then your stick just evaporates on you. Oh, absolutely hammers him. With the blast. What a stop. The puck skips off a piece of that broken stick on the ice. The Blues, and on the heels of that big hit, he's being called out. Sorelli's ready to go. Apparently, the other guy doesn't want anything to do with him. And that pass can't connect. Oh, what a save in front. Krug still trying to shake off the effects of this hit. He really took a thump there. Centers are set, face off, ready to resume play. Nice job tying up his opponent. That's the horn, and 20 minutes is all said and done with here for period number one. The Bolts in front by a score of 1 0. Still lots of hockey still to come, so get ready here on EA Sports. And we are just moments away from the start of period number two. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Well, we've got over 20 minutes played thus far. Ray, how have you seen things? The Blues are going to have to find a possession game that looks a lot different than that first period. They chased it around, and as a result, they're chasing the game. Here's a short pass to Tarasenko. Takes a shot. He scores! Jumps on the rebound and makes a count.
Uh, goalie burps up this rebound here. It comes right back into the shooting area and the rebound is put away. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. St. Louis wins it. Scored by number 91, Puts the puck on net, and he comes up with it. Tampa Bay's got it in their own zone. Gets the puck over to Kucherov. Big time stop. Nice feed from the right wing. Look out. Yeah, that, you didn't say that quick enough. He got flattened as he was trying to go down the boards. The Bolts take it along the wing. Moves it to Kucherov. Broken up by Perron. Saucer pass. Intercepted. Pareko's taking it from his own end. Slides it diagonally to Scandella. And he serves it across to Thomas. Oh, and he rocked him. I've been hit like that. You look up, there's nowhere to go, and you've got to take the hit. Quick pass across to Stamkos. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. Big hit, absolutely lowering the boom. He closed so fast, there was nowhere for him to go. And no luck on that pass attempt. Through center along the wing. He's only one goal away from his next real achievement. You know he'd like to get it here. Made the save on the play. Tampa Bay's across the blue line. Aaron pass and they can't connect. And they can't convert to the play. St. Louis looks to break out in their own end. Directed over to Costin. And serves up a little knock on the play. Takes the pass. And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by Walman. The Blues will play it in their own end. And now he angles it across to Costin. Oh, big collision there. James, he had the homing device on there. He saw the chance and lowered the boom. Stopped by the goaltender. And there's the whistle as he elects to slow things down a little. A pretty good decision here with the play starting to break down in front of him. Whoa, James, I'll tell you. I was on the receiving end of those, not on the giving end. Those hurt. Just here in the late stages of this frame, it's all tied up. Tampa Bay's got it in the defensive zone. Pass across to Marlowe. Unleashes a cannon! And he denied that opportunity. The Bulls playing near the point. Oh, what a stop by Bennington. And it's a quick pass to Ruda. Tried to connect the pass, but it doesn't go. Takes the feed. Oh, and I'm sure they Oh, off the pipe! Marlowe's won a couple of shots off the post already. I can't believe he's not so frustrated right now. Trying to engage a little physicality wow. here. Six seconds remaining. Under siege and finally grabs that one and covers up for a whistle. Puck possession so critical. Another faceoff coming up here. Shen's won it off the faceoff. And the sound of the horn will wrap things up for period number two in what has been a tightly contested affair. Third period is just around the corner, so don't even think about putting that controller down.
Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James, and we are ready to kickstart this third period. This one's still deadlocked as we are now underway here in the third. Look out! The Bolts are on the attack. Puts it on net. Turned aside with a glove. Biddington's got the puck, and he'll hang on for the whistle. Well, in a close game, you've got to be in control of things, and he's had an excellent night so far. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Musa quickly over to O'Reilly. They got a pair on a two-on-one. Stopped by the goaltender. Stops him again. Doesn't lose his focus as he makes a couple of quick ones in a row. Hits like that are becoming more and more rare as the game gets faster and faster. But that is a big hit. St. Louis wins the draw in wow. the offensive zone. The Blues will play it against the boards. Oh, and they'll be forced to start over from center as the puck leaves the zone. The Lightning have taken possession along the wall. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. With the blast! Oh, it gets a little too much on it, and it sails high. Uh, he got a lot, of, a lot on the shot, and he's in good position, but he just shoots it up over top of the net. That's gloved by Bennington. Goalies love making the glove save, whether it's a great save or a rather run-of-the-mill one. They love to show you that they've caught it after they've put it away. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. We got a tie game. And that goes off a player. Here's a chance. That's turned away with the pad by Bennington. And as he opts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. Starting to look like a little bit of a fire drill in the zone, so this is a good play. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. The Bulls take possession off the faceoff and makes the save. And a stick in the lane deflects that one away. Here's a blast. Lays out to block the shot. Picked up along the boards by Hedman. The Bulls are in transition. St. Louis has it in their own zone. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. Quick feed to Thomas. And now it's grabbed by Kairou. Off a stick. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. From one point man to another. His reflexes on display tonight. Vasilevsky's able to handle that shot with no problem, and he gets it into the corner for safety. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Quick pass to Barbashev. That opportunity's rejected. Vasilevsky's gonna cover it up and get a whistle. Even with the traffic starting to close in, he had to grab that when he did. Past the halfway mark of this period, we are all tied up in this one. Tampa Bay's got a hold of the puck. Looking to set up offensively. Hammers a shot! Scores! And they go up by one! Tied no more. That's a big goal to be able to take the lead. Not many goals scored on the slapper anymore. I guess just from the point on the power play. But to walk into one and hammer one is a good feeling. The Bulls have gone ahead here at a critical time in this third period. You can start to see the finish line now. It's still in the distance, but it's getting closer. Sorelli's won it. Nice pass. Gains the zone through center. St. Louis gains a hold of it. Grabbed along the board by Neal. Puck picked up by Pareko. Receives the pass. Here he is in front. And he gets just enough of it to keep it out from the back of the net. 
Vasilevsky's put, oh, he had that corner, but he puts it off the outside of the post. St. Louis comes so close to getting themselves into a position to take over this game. Momentum won't change as that hits the post and stays out. That pass doesn't go. There's a hit on the play. Gobbles the puck up there with the chest. And we're gonna get a stoppage here as the referee blows the play dead. For the last two hours, it's been this same movie again. Great scoring chance, great stop. Carlin's got the answer as to who had the better night. O'Reilly's been able to contribute by generating scoring chances, and you know his teammates appreciate it. I think he's been the player that stood out for me, guys. Stop that one. Here's a short pass to Stamkos. And puts the body into it a little bumper car hockey. And he makes the save. Tears it off. And that carries off a stick. And that's intercepted by Tarasenko. The Blues continually put themselves in good defensive positions to steal pucks. They've done it all night long, and that's important in a close game. Denies them on the play. Whistle blown as that's redirected into the crowd. Really solid controlled stop here as the puck is deflected up out of play so everybody can get off the ice. You can get a fresh group of players out for the next face-off. Stamkos loves to blast home one-time shots, guys. His 1T zone ability is that quick release that's hard for goalies to stop. And if his teammates can set him up, you have to look to him to unload. Slides the puck across to Tarasenko. St. Louis has it against the half wall. We got a delayed penalty coming up here as the ref's hand goes up in the air. And there's the whistle stopping the play. Here's the official call. Chernak's called for tripping. He's off to the box. He's going to look up at the big board and see that. You know what? That's a trip for sure. He got a stick in the wrong spot. Tripped up the player. O'Reilly's got a chance to use his zone ability to help the power play put one up on the board here, guys. Let's see how they do. The Blues win it. And he slides it quickly to Fulk. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Moves it to O'Reilly. And the intensity starts to ramp up here after that hit. Moves into the slot. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Vasilevsky. Yeah, he looked up to the roof after that one. He thought he had room. The goaltender makes the stop. Unloads one. Final horn is sounded, bringing this one to an end. Good one tonight down at ice level. We send it back to Ray Ferraro. How'd you see things? Well, I saw it the same way the game sheet told me. The, day, the game sheet told me the winning team had the puck all the time. My eyes told me, man, they controlled the game. The other team, the losing team, never had the puck. For Ray Ferraro, my name is James Sabalski. Thanks so much for joining us, everybody. Have a great night.